7th in a position-by-position -position series looking at the 2018 Texas A&M Aggies what to expect. 20 years back, Texas A&M labeled itself linebacker U of the South, but that designation has long been gone with the winds blowing through Kyle Field. Who is back, Odor Olaka, SR, Tyrell Dodson Jr., Anthony Hines, Soft, Buddy Johnson, Soft, Riley Garner, SR, Santino Marshall, Father, Braden White, Soft, Mac Labhart, SR. And M under former defensive coordinator and linebackers coach John Chavez took steps to regain some respect at the position, and Jimbo Fisher's new defensive staff is reaping the benefits. Alaka and Dodson are solid leaders and performers, and Johnson and Hines drip with still budding talent. A good indicator of what new defensive coordinator Mike Elko, late of Notre Dame, expects from his linebackers occurred in the spring game April 14. The two leading tacklers on the white team were Johnson and Hines, seven and six tackles, respectively, and the leading tackler on the Maroon squad was Dodson, seven tackles. Last season, Dodson ranked fourth in the SEC with 104 tackles and he's fired up to show he's worthy of all SEC consideration, he was snubbed last season. Primarily because the A&M defense ranked 78th nationally in total defense and overall wasn't very good. A&M didn't sign any linebackers in the class of 2018, so what fans saw in 2017 is mostly what they'll get this season, with the possible exception of Marshall. The son of former NFL linebacker Ken Marshall, Santino redshirted last season. He turned in a strong spring game, and at the very least showed he's ready to provide the Aggies valuable depth at linebacker. Playing time at the position might be hard to come by past the top two or three, considering Elko primarily employs a 4-2-5 scheme, but there always seems to be room for playmakers, and Elko, like Chavis before him from 2015-17, intends to employ multiple fronts. Linebacker U of the South? Based on more wide-open offensive attacks of the college game, A&M likely will never claim that designation again. But it still helps to have talented players backing up the line, and Kevin Sumlin and Chavis left Fisher and company plenty of options on that front. <laughs>